Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Today we are on to day two of the Clean, Organize and Declutter Home Challenge. This is based on the 30 days to a clean and organized house by Katie Berry. All the information will be linked in the description box below. And we are starting day two with the cleaning task of the day, which is the refrigerator. We empty everything out, clean the interior and exterior and reorganize. My fridge is actually looking pretty good now. Well, it was looking until I actually saw the content, but the fridge itself wasn't dirty because I had done a really deep spring clean of the fridge and freezer um, back in March and I've been able to keep on top of it. I will link that video down in the description box below in case you do want to see me clean an actually dirty fridge, but this one um, even though it was clean and most of the things were in the right place because we were not well the kids had no appetite I actually had quite a lot of gone off food that I was absolutely horrified to see and in my house we are all very visual so if something is out of sight it's completely out of mind and some of the containers that are used um, mainly to store the fruits and vegetables were not clear so I guess no one had even realized what's exactly in those containers that's something that I might have to reconsider and something else I've learned from this challenge is that I have to stop over buying and over stocking well pretty much everything in my house I have a really bad over buying habit and if you saw yesterday's video I had to throw away so much gone off um, food, food supplements and things like that from my spice cupboard. It was a lot of um, like cereal additives and healthy berry powder and super greens powder and things like that. And it was very upsetting because I don't like being wasteful. And if you haven't cleaned your fridge for a while, um, Katie Berry advises that you use hot soapy water to clean the interior, discard all the gone off items. Um, also, don't forget to clean the gasket, which is the rubbery bit around and the exterior of the fridge as well which is all around the door the back the sides the front everything just give it a really good clean if you can pull it out that will be perfect because you can clean underneath and behind and mine um, has been clean so I'm not going to be doing this now because this fridge is actually in what's going to be our playroom and when we started moving furniture around last month we thoroughly cleaned at the back I can't move it by myself because it's actually on a carpet um, so it doesn't slide and it's very difficult and it has rubber rubber legs that leave black marks when we drag it on the carpet so I just don't want to do that it's not worth it for me I know that there is nothing at the bottom as you can see it's all nice and clean and wiped down and at least I know that I don't have anything gone off out of date and I will take all the suspicious food to the kitchen which is all of that on the floor here and this is all the food that I had to go through and I was hoping that I will be able to save some of it but as you can see this is absolutely disgusting the things that have gone off it was just so bad and with people starving around the world I feel extremely bad and guilty when I'm throwing food away I think that's one of the hardest things for me to discard because I just get that insane guilt and these were strawberries they had gone so moldy I didn't even want to open them so yeah as you can see these green containers actually hide the fruits that are inside and I think my family members just forget that we have them in the the fridge i really need to reconsider what i'm doing but all i managed to save from all these fruits and veg was one avocado and a bit of baby jam lettuce and we are on to the second task of the day which is organizing and we're organizing under the sink cupboard i keep tins and jars in mine and I had posted a video of actually organizing it, which I will include here 
um, in just a minute. But I had insane backlash on Facebook where people were saying that this is absolutely gross and horrible and I shouldn't be doing this. I want to point out that this cupboard is actually very clean. I have no spillages from anywhere. Um, the water pipes don't leak i clean it regularly there are no cobwebs i don't have any insects or mice and it doesn't actually get hot i'm not sure if that's because i have a composite sink but we had put um thermometer inside and it doesn't actually get hot so for me this is just a normal clean dry space where i can keep sealed stuff like tins and jars and here is the video today we're decluttering my under sink cupboard i keep jars and tins in here and as you can imagine everything at the back is doomed to oblivion using my four simple steps i take everything out I give the cupboard to get wiped down including the storage i build a new unit the bottom shelf pulls out for easy access and to allow me to see what i actually have in there then I wipe all the tins and bottles and everything out and check the expiry dates. And it did take me playing around for a bit, but I did eventually manage to find suitable space for everything. Inside the pull-out shelf, I managed to squeeze these two stacking baskets to maximize the space. And I also added to my shopping list anything that I had run out of and things that I had way too much of. In this little basket on the door I have all my Ziploc and freezer bags and I've got everything in a pull-out storage in here. And I'm moving on to the third and final task for the day which is maintenance and today that is the daily cleaning routine. If you've seen day one you know that I had to catch up on all the laundry and I had two more loads to be done so I just um, put the dogs in the tumble dryer that I had already run in the morning and I am just doing some knitwear and delicate and I'm going to be hanging all of them up. One of Nick's top had some marks on it so I'm just going to quickly apply some stain remover before I put it in the washing machine and then I'm going to run um, this on, I actually use the wool cycle which is 30 degrees with a 600 spin and I'm just folding the dogs that I had washed already yesterday and um, once the dogs are in the tumble dryer right now come out I will iron everything and I'll take all the clothes um, to where they need to go and when we moved in we didn't have this utility area we built it um, ourselves because I've always struggled with laundry and keeping on top of it in our previous property like most UK homes I had the washing machine and tumble dryer in the kitchen and it was absolutely dreadful because I would just end up with all the clothes scattered on the floor when I'm separating the the clothes and then i'll have to dump it in the living room and get my ironing board to iron all the school uniforms and it was just really difficult for me so we had this empty space here and we turned it into a laundry slash utility area where i can keep everything and it has been really helpful and i'm really grateful that i have somewhere where i can wash and dry and iron and hang and do everything in the same spot and what's um helpful for me at the moment is that the playroom is just next to it and the kids have a big cupboard where i keep all of their school uniforms in there so it's very easy to put the school uniforms away but when it comes to the rest of the clothes I fold them I take them upstairs and I just leave them there and it takes me days and days to actually sort through the already folded clothes I don't know where my resistance is coming from I think it's because we genuinely don't spend time upstairs but yeah that's my laundry situation i hope that this challenge helps me to actually build some better habits and stop piling loads of clothes all over our bedrooms and i know that this is a very fast time lapse we just wanted to point out that 
all the clothes are out of the tumble dryer and the washing machine now everything is hung and my laundry basket is somewhat empty i only had two t-shirts in there and obviously that didn't last because when the kids came back from school they chucked all of their school uniforms in there when they had showers so the laundry basket doesn't stay empty for a very long time but i keep a small um laundry basket just one in the whole house that doesn't really fit more than two to three loads and that's just to stop me from actually procrastinating and getting it done so if you tend to procrastinate and just dump your clothes in the hampers that's an advice i can give you is try and minimize the space well the basket the storage you have for all the dirty clothes and this way you will be forced to wash them more frequently or I know what some minimalist people would say is minimize the amount of clothes you have so that you're forced to wash them because otherwise you have nothing to wear but I can't give advice that I don't follow myself so um yeah I'm just sharing what I know and I find this ironing blanket a lot easier to use than getting my big ironing board out and then having to put it away. But I've noticed that lately when I've been using the steamer, it kind of leaves my counter a bit damp. So I just had to quickly wipe it. And I am on to the bathrooms now. I know that in the daily routine, you should be doing bedrooms, bathrooms, living rooms, kitchen in the correct order. But because this bathroom is is facing the laundry room and I was already here I decided to just give it a quick wipe down and the daily routine includes um wiping around the basin polishing the faucet cleaning the mirror and sanitizing the toilet seat you don't really need to be scrubbing the bowl inside every day but that's what we do and I did film the upstairs bathroom as well well I thought I did but I actually only had the footage of cleaning the toilet, but I have done both bathrooms. And by the time I actually um, came upstairs to do the bedrooms and stuff, it was already quite late. So I just got the kids' bed pretty much ready for bed. I think this routine would benefit from maybe being split into a morning and evening because coming here to make the bed at five o'clock in the afternoon when I know that the kids will be coming upstairs to sleep in the next two three hours just made absolutely no sense for me and because the previous day I had already wiped all the services down and vacuumed in here this room really didn't need any more cleaning otherwise day two it's supposed to um, be focused on the bedrooms and it says put everything away wipe the surfaces and give the rooms a wall-to-wall -wall vacuum and change the bed sheets i didn't change the bed sheets because i do that every sunday and we tend to use exactly the same set so i wash dry and put back on on the same day however i did force myself to put away all the clean folded clothes that i have brought in yesterday and today and i just got their room ready for the evening i had to wash and reset the diffuser and i use a good night mix that i got from amazon and just close the blinds they have um, smart lights in here with remote control so I just left them very dimmed and the room was really relaxing I quickly made my bed and now brace yourselves because this is what the rest of my bedroom looks like this is why you haven't seen it until now most of it is all dry clean folded clothes but I will be doing a video on that I was really hoping to come back the same day and start on it I didn't get the chance because by the time I was done with this daily routine it was actually really late but I am starting um, little by little to fix it and I will film that in a separate video because as you can imagine it will take me a few days and it will be a long video I can't really include it as part of um, this videos and if you're doing the challenge with me i don't want to distract you we are trying to follow the plan and sorting out an extremely cluttered bedroom so far it's not 
part of the plan and i'm just searching out the living room after the kids had already gone to bed i had to put all of their school bags and jackets and shoes and things where they belong fix up all the sofa pillows and blankets and just take away their lunch boxes and all of their dirty uniforms when they changed into their pajamas they just chucked them on the sofa and now i have a relaxing space to just sit and unwind and i'm on to the dining table this is after dinner we they had taken their plates to the sink area but I had to just wipe down the table and put the chairs back in line and just straighten up the space a little bit and I didn't do anything to the floors downstairs because we don't have beds we don't wear shoes in the house and there were no um big crumbs and stuff like that I just left it for the next day because by the time I was filming this it was probably around 10 maybe after 10 o'clock in the evening and I just didn't have the energy anymore to get my vacuum out and I didn't want to sweep or anything like that I was genuinely feeling really tired and I had to um, get rid of some boxes I had a few more deliveries today one of them was this um, dining set for the kids that I had gotten and now I'm just unloading the dishwasher when I mentioned earlier about the routine being split into morning and night if I had unloaded the dishwasher first thing in the morning it would have definitely helped and it would have made the evening clean a lot quicker because I would have been putting things straight in the dishwasher instead of piling them around the sink so I think I might have to amend this routine to fit my household better because leaving the whole dishwasher and all the dishes and everything for the evening just doesn't work too well for me honestly at this point I was really tired and it just doesn't seem like it's working too well for me this way but um Anyway, the book doesn't actually specify if you should be doing it in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. It does say that it might take you longer than 30 days if your house is very messy and dirty and physical and mental illnesses, whatever might be slowing you down or work schedule. Um, but it does say do not change the order of the way the tasks and the days are given because otherwise it's not going to work for you so i am trying to stick with the same order but the maintenance is always the last thing on the list and for me that's left until quite late i'm just wiping the counters here i did scrub down the sink and replace the towel i still have the new dishes that arrived um to do but i'm leaving them for tomorrow because i just don't have the energy and that's all done